The people who know, know, and they get it. And there's people all over the world who are getting this now. They didn't get it before, but they're getting it now. They're hearing it. And they know it's right. Did you hear that? They know it's right. It's, it's sometimes things that are so right, they seem wrong because you've never heard what's really right before. The Holy Ghost is, is God born. in the earth today, and you right. walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrad, and thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here, and you're blessed by these messages, then consider becoming a partner with us. 1 Peter 1, verse 12, Unto whom it was revealed, that not unto themselves, but unto us, they did minister the things say things. things which are now say now. now which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Ghost who the Holy. Holy Ghost sent down from heaven so he came from some place to some place are you getting this which things the angels desire to look into now there are other verses of scripture that say the old testament saints and prophets decided and wanted to look into these things as well but couldn't they could only see uh, glimmers and glimpses of it mm -hmm. see what you say i say see the things that we're in today into this dispensation th that he was just talking about the age of the holy ghost say the age, the age of the holy, the holy ghost we're in a new dispensation which dispensation are we in holy, holy ghost. ghost dispensation so everything prior to this dispensation is trumped by this all the old dispensations are trumped by this dispensation they wanted to look into it the angels wanted to look into it still do they desired to look into it they could only see glimpses of it what this dispensation that we get to live in say we get to live in, get to live in. with the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today are we living it are we living in this dispensation with the Holy Ghost because most people are living in a different dispensation in an old dispensation or trying to live in an old dispensation and they're out of order are you getting this yes. this is the Holy Ghost dispensation where Jesus is no longer here with us they want to be in the Jesus dispensation where he's walking with them he left and sent the Holy Ghost from heaven who is with us yes. you got to ask yourself am I living in it right say am I, am I living in it what this dispensation well yeah I'm living it but no are you living I could just, I could say are you living it the way it should be lived most people are not most people are trying to live in the past man they're trying to live in some former dispensation and so they see every scripture every scripture they read they're interpreting it by that older dispensation when they should be interpreting it and seeing it and living in it by this dispensation mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost being with you mm -hmm. in the earth if you're living in an old dispensation and you're not hearing the things that I'm saying then I say so you're not worshiping the Holy Ghost it's obvious to me that you're not worshiping the Holy Ghost if you're living in those other dispensations because the Holy Ghost is God he was sent into the earth he's the only part of the Godhead in the earth it would be required to be fully present in this dispensation say fully present, fully present. In, this in this dispensation to worship God who's in the earth are you here yes. why does that sound so weird to everybody it shouldn't be Luke chapter 4 verse 5 and the devil 
takes him Jesus up into a high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time and the devil said unto him all this power will I give thee in the glory of them for that is delivered unto me and to whomsoever I will give it verse 7 if thou wilt worship me all shall be thine say all all, all shall be thine is that even possible the devil would have to have control over all of it to say that all shall be thine and we know that's just gobbledygook mm -hmm. so you're saying God doesn't have authority or control over anything that's goofiness compared to the rest of the Bible it's a lie verse 8 and Jesus answered and said unto him get thee behind me Satan for it is written thou shalt worship they worship, worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve now there's a lot that I can say about this but here it says thou shalt worship the Lord thy God if the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and we are to begin worshiping him yes. we're fulfilling this verse of Scripture number one but there's also benefits to him benefits to it and him only shalt thou serve I'm telling you and I'm here today to tell you that the ability to serve the Holy Ghost opens to you say opens to me when you begin to worship him and if you don't do the first part of the verse you don't get the second part of the verse thou shalt worship the Lord thy God Holy Ghost and him only shalt thou serve shalt thou serve shalt thou see shalt thou know how to how to serve him are you seeing this when you begin worshiping him if I don't begin worshiping him I'm not gonna be able to see or know or understand how to serve him in this day in this age of the Holy Ghost what if I do then I will I will know him and how to serve him are you getting this yes. I'll go and I'll listen to many of my messages when I'm you know I'm when I'm removed from it you know lots of times I'll be I can't believe I said that or I don't remember saying that but these messages the things that I'm saying right now are either really right or they're really wrong people that hear it and know say people that know. people that know people that know know it's really right and they move in that direction those are the people who begin to explicit those are the people who begin to experience experience the knowing of the Holy Ghost and how to serve him in a way that other people can't are you hearing this the people who know know the pe and they get it and there's people all over the world who are getting this now they didn't get it before but they're getting it now they're hearing it and they know it's right did you hear that they know it's right it's it's sometimes things that are so right they seem wrong because you've never heard what's really right before well I'm going here and I'm taking many 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 say many. many many people with me we're going here so I'm gonna be telling you some things tonight that you can't go here that I'm talking about until you get this revelation you get that revelation you walk through that door and many things are in there in that room now remember you can't get where we're going until you get this revelation first all right second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 nevertheless when it shall turn to the Lord the veil shall be taken away verse 17 now the Lord is veil is taken away say the veil is taken away, the veil is taken away. what's the next words that spirit now the Lord is, now in our dispensation the Lord is veil taken away that spirit now I don't like it that way well you're living in the wrong dispensation in this dispensation the Lord is 
that spirit not Jesus Jesus is in heaven he paid the price went to heaven sat down and sent the Holy Ghost now the Lord is ladies and gentlemen that spirit introducing Holy Ghost God in the earth today you want to walk with God in the earth sure who are you gonna walk with a made-up version of Jesus that's not scriptural how's Jesus gonna return if you're walking around with him all day long where's he returning from you we're going someplace but you can't get there unless you get this revelation first when the veil is taken away now the Lord is ladies and gentlemen that spirit that spirit who the Holy Ghost and where the Spirit of the Lord is or where the Spirit is Lord there is Liberty other translations say freedom where the Spirit is perfectly Lord there is perfect freedom who are we changed by Holy Ghost who are we changed by beholding his glory Holy Ghost now if you get this revelation we can go there well I don't like it that way well my friend you're living in the wrong dispensation you want to live in a dispensation where you have somebody else that you walk around with we live in the dispensation they wanted to look into because it was supposed to be so great mm -hmm. why isn't it so great for you because you haven't learned how to perfectly walk with the Holy Ghost so now the Lord is curtain opened that spirit and where the spirit is perfectly Lord say perfectly Lord, perfectly Lord. there is perfect freedom problem is you have a you have flaws in your perfection of walking with the Holy Ghost they're usually religious flaws so we worship the Lord our God and him do you remember that verse of Scripture that's why I went there first you're supposed to worship the Lord your God now the Lord is that spirit you're supposed to worship the Lord your God and him only shall you serve while well, worshiping him is part of serving him so when you worship him you use words like I worship you Holy Ghost who's the God you worship in the earth Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost only using the words I worship you Holy Ghost only has completely transformed me into knowing him and walking with him worshiping him what if somebody did that what if somebody used those words in the morning and said I worship you Holy Ghost only what does that do to a person now I'm gonna walk throughout the day and I've been saying I worship you Holy Ghost only I'm inviting him into his temple whose temple I am worshiping him worshiping the Holy Ghost say worshiping the Holy Ghost, worshiping the Holy Ghost. these are the things that, that get you kicked out of a lot of churches because you say things like you know scriptural things like you should worship the Holy Ghost and they don't like that if you could have gotten where we needed to be by just speaking in tongues we would have gotten there by now I'm telling you as one who's spent well over 10,000 hours praying in other tongues if you could get there by speaking in other tongues we would have gotten there by now how many people you know that's the end all if I could just speak in tongues I'd have that one experience that would be no that's the beginning the Bible said it was the beginning the book of Acts they began speaking in tongues we have been speaking in tongues for 2,000 plus years we should have gotten there by now if that was it you know what we haven't been doing for 2,000 years worshiping the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today are you here yes. worshiping the Holy Ghost does something listen worshiping the Holy Ghost does something different to you than speaking in tongues does to you to you worshiping the Holy Ghost does something different to you it's a diversity of operations worshiping the Holy Ghost is not speaking in other tongues speaking in tongues is speaking in tongues worshiping the Holy Ghost is saying I worship 
you holy ghost you are god in the earth today i worship you hey uh, this is andrew hemstrod i worship you worshiping the holy ghost is using words words of worship why is this so difficult for people to get you have to use words you worship him with your words with your mouth these words these words of worship have transforming power they transform you oh hang on we got to we're going someplace today this is good right I'm, I'm leading you up there I'm trying to point you in the right direction these words of worship I worship you Holy Ghost specifically have transforming power not only to deliver you from your sad theology but to move you from one glory to another say one glory, one glory. to another glory. glory you know that worshiping the Holy Ghost removes you it delivers you from your sad theology I'm telling you it roto rooters it right out of you and then it begins to move you glory be to God from one glory to the next glory to the next glory in a way the praying in tongues can't doing other things can't I'm not against confessing the word and speaking in other tongues that's one glory but worshiping the Holy Ghost will take you from glory to glory the plan is for you to be completely transformed now if this is true if I worship the Holy Ghost it transforms me it does something to me it transforms me if our if our if the plan is to be transformed and completely transformed is it even possible for you to be transformed in this way without worshiping the Holy Ghost you can't go there you don't worship the Holy Ghost you can't go there listen if you don't worship the Holy Ghost you can't go there <laughs> Romans chapter 12 verse 1 I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God <sighs> that you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service now I do this often is your tongue part of your body are you supposed to present your bodies to God a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto God who the Holy Ghost. why God the Holy Ghost because he's God in the earth he's the one in your body your body <laughs> say my body. my body who's in my body Holy Ghost I'm presenting my body to him which includes my tongue which is reasonable you shall worship the Lord your God and him only shall you serve this is your reasonable service to who God the Holy Ghost and be not conformed to this world you can't if you don't do it you can't be conformed I mean, you can't be transformed in the way you're supposed to be be not conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind which means you'll get rid of a lot of that goofy old religious and sad theology that keeps you in a different dispensation that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect say perfect, perfect. will of the Holy Ghost who is God are you going to be able to do that if you don't present your body reasonably serving him the one that's in the temple mm -hmm. and the reasonable service it's reasonable that you should say I worship you Holy Ghost well I don't think it's that big of a difference then you've never done it then you're not a Holy Ghost worshiper come over to this side so we're going from good to acceptable to perfect which means we transform from good are you good yeah well we're gonna go from good to better right which would be acceptable right that's the point we are being transformed from from okay to good from good to better and we're going to perfect will of God the Holy Ghost 
well those words spiritual worship in the at the end of verse one it said well reasonable service in other translations and in other places are are translated spiritual worship so we're worshiping the Holy Ghost with our body which includes our tongue now, I'm not just saying all that stuff just so I can have something to yap at up here there's a reason we're being transformed those words I worship you Holy Ghost have transforming power they have the ability to transform you they have the ability to transform your life your situations and your surrounding and I'm gonna show you how it works aren't you glad you came yes. Revelations chapter 1 verse 10 I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet I want to look at this first part of it I was in the Spirit say I, I. Was, in was in the Spirit, the Spirit. now the New Living Translation says literally I was worshiping in the Spirit it gives you an indication of how he got in the Spirit worshiping the Holy Ghost gets you in the Spirit can you understand that what do you mean in the Spirit I mean in the Spirit where there are things that are good and acceptable and perfect that I must have mm -hmm. say I must have. I must have are there things in the spirit yes, yes. is there healing in the spirit yes. is there prosperity in the spirit is there everything you could possibly need and want in the spirit yes, yes. well we need to get it out of the spirit do you understand mm -hmm. I was worshiping in the spirit it gives you an indication of how he got in say how he got in I worship you Holy Ghost 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 I am doing a spiritual activity and I'm getting in the spirit by worshiping the Holy Ghost are you here well, every time you come out of the spirit you bring something with you I didn't make this up I'm speaking by the Spirit of God every time listen every time you come out of the Spirit you bring something with you all the things you want and desire are there so you want to go into the Spirit and come back out and bring those things with you the glory that the Bible talks about contains everything you could possibly need many times the Bible will use the exact same word for glory as wealth the Hebrew calls it the word kabod it's heavy heavy with value heavy with worth heavy with wealth is there great wealth in the spirit then when you come out of the spirit what are you bringing something with you something from the glory come listen something from the glory comes with you when you come out of that time of worshiping the Holy Ghost I wish you could hear it you know many people heard that and they're gonna get great benefit from it did you hear it ha 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 well you just take a laugh break right now Luke chapter 4 again remember we read that Jesus was up on the mountain there the devil was, was saying things to him and he said thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve right do you suppose Jesus was worshiping the Lord his God and him only did he serve while he was there yeah can you imagine that after Jesus did that he came off of the mountain and so he came out of the Spirit say he came out of the Spirit, he came out of the Spirit. Luke chapter 4 and verse 14 and Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee and there went out a fame of him through all the region round about that didn't happen before he brought it with him out of the Spirit fame of Jesus came out of the Spirit and every time you come out of the Spirit you bring something say something with you which means you're different you're transformed into that glory we go from glory to glory by the Spirit of the Lord we're changed from that glory to a new glory that comes out of the Spirit with us who in fact things that the Spirit of God told me to say to you you can't go into the Spirit and not come out bringing something with you 
you can't go into the spirit and not bring some thing out with you are you getting this yes. you can't go into the spirit and come out and not bring with you something you bring it back with you into this realm well what good is that really what good is that the glory of God you're bringing it with you into this realm you don't need to impact anything in the spirit realm do you you get changed when you go there but when you come back it's the coming back that generates the force of the impact <laughs> but you've got to have your words in order if you come back out of the spirit and you're saying things contrary to the things that you got in the spirit and the angels will just stand there and look at you blankly they won't help you out you understand mm -hmm. Ecclesiastes 5 6 says say not before the angel it was a mistake now here's where we're going I don't preach cave theology you know what cave theology is it's gonna get so bad for you it's gonna get so bad for the church that we'll have to store up all of this stuff and we'll all go live together in a cave and stink until maybe Jesus raptures us or can't returns and finds us stinking in a cave well I don't preach cave theology so you're all beat down and poor and broken hiding in a cave until the rapture until Jesus shows up have you heard this it's very prevalent in fact I preach the complete opposite flip it over and go 180 degrees in the other direction that's the gospel that's the good news your future is not what you've been lied to about you've been lied to these things all tie together hold on we're talking about going into the spirit coming out of the spirit right out of the spirit I'm bringing something with you your future is not what you've been lied to about and I'm ex here to expose you to this Jeremiah 9 23 says glory in this that you understand and know me as I worship the Holy Ghost I get to know him and know how to serve him you start to know that he says things like I must own it all he's the kind of God that has to own it all he's not satisfied with second bet why does he go we go from good to acceptable and that's acceptable why does he put perfect at the end because that's where he's going he said to me I must have it all now you'll hear that it'll go off on the inside of you I must have it all say that I must have it all I must have it all who you well only if you're working with him he must have it all now we have many instances of that Genesis chapter 47 we won't turn there again but the entire kingdom was put into Joseph's hands because he was moved by the Holy Ghost the entire kingdom of Egypt at the time it was the greatest kingdom in the world it was all put into Joseph's hands who did that same God in our day Holy Ghost you understand he must have it all literally bought up all of the land all of the silver and gold and the people all of it say all of it remember the devil saying oh if you bow down and worship me I'll give you all of this kingdom what a bunch of baloney first Timothy chapter 6 verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but in the Living God who's the Living God Holy the Holy Ghost trust in the Living God who gives us richly all things say all things, all things. is that in your Bible yes. is it true how could he do that if he didn't have the ability to give all things and what does all things actually mean I must have all things 
you can't fulfill this scripture good acceptable perfect it would be good for you to have some things it would be acceptable for you to have most things mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what would be perfect all things. all things where are we going all things how are we gonna get them through him they come out his people the Holy Ghost having all things see now that goes crosswise with I would say 99% of everybody who's preaching anything out there living God richly provides us with all things well if you start saying that a lot what's gonna happen to you you're gonna start thinking like him you're gonna start thinking I must have all things I must be the head and not why do you say the head and not the tail and above only and not beneath? you can't be above only and not have everything in your sphere other things something's above you what is, what does that come from that comes from him he wrote it fulfillment of that promise is him in your life all things it's who he is is part of who you get to know when you start worshiping him say when I start worshiping the Holy Ghost he reveals himself as a God who must have all things you start to know his personality and you know that this doesn't seem weird to me anymore I suppose if I was just hearing this like for the first time or coming from some other brand of gospel especially if I was just coming out of the cave to see what was out there this would sound really weird but it doesn't sound weird to me anymore because I know him and I know what he's doing and I know what he's capable of I must have it all are you with me on that yeah. when you worship the Holy Ghost you get to know him as a guy who must have it all why because it's his in fact he says that the silver and the gold is mine the glory of the latter house will be greater than the former why do you say all the silver all the gold is mine because it is I hope that you're getting to know the Holy Ghost he's a lot different than you thought he was he's pretty awesome you get him in your life and he'll start he'll start shaking things up and changing you why do you have to change because you can't handle him Daniel chapter 7 verse 26 but the judgment shall sit and they shall take away his dominion to consume and to destroy it unto the end when's the end well that's the end All right, we're talking about the end here this is a prophecy of the end verse 27 and the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven say the whole heaven, the whole heaven. I mean as far as you can see shall be given to the people of the Saints of the Most High God not even the Saints the people of the Saints you got some people have your people call my people we'll get together the entire kingdom shall be given to the people of the Saints of the Most High Holy Ghost whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and all dominions shall serve and obey him here is the end of the matter that's the end say that's the, end. that's the end I saw no caves I saw no stinky people huddled did you I saw the entire kingdom being given to the people of the Saints of the Most High God that's the end why is that the end because then we got to leave we go from glory to glory to glory to glory let's go back there a lot of people out there have never heard of anything like this before second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 now the Lord is that spirit who is the Lord in the earth today Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost that spirit and where the Spirit of the Lord is or where the Spirit is Lord there is liberty freedom perfect Lordship calls for perfect freedom perfect liberty we go from good to acceptable to perfect and if we're going from good to acceptable to, per to perfect we're being changed from one to the next 
there's a glory in good there's a glory in acceptable where are we going to perfect but we all as it with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord the same Lord the Holy Ghost are changed into the same image what is the image I've been talking about the God who must have everything what image are you changed into that one why because you are his temple you're being changed into his image from glory to glory right from glory to glory if I go into the glory into the spirit that gets when I come out it generates the force of the impact and I have glory even as by the Spirit of the Lord or even as by the operation of the Spirit who is the Lord what if the Spirit isn't my Lord do I get that I not only don't get it I don't get it if I don't worship him as Lord Holy Ghost I worship you as Lord in the earth are you seeing this and as I do that he begins to take me from one glory to the next and that glory begins to come back and affect my surroundings and my situations and my people and my partners my people the people of the Saints of the Most High God are then exalted and put into places of authority that they couldn't go before new operations open to them new situations that couldn't happen by themselves but the Spirit of God and his angels has his hand now involved in your situation and things will never be the same and you'll go from that place to the next place as you are changed from one glory into his image from glory to glory until we finally have it all and he's satisfied we'll be caught up together meet the Lord in the air so shall we ever be with the Lord amen. amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you I thank you that you are causing me to be multiplied financially and I will have more than more than enough for every need and every opportunity I give you glory in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth